Everybody, I'm JJ Johnson and you're watching Reality Survival. So today what I wanted to do is talk with you about what I think is the only four holsters you will ever need uh, for the Smith & Wesson Shield. Uh, these are the four holsters that I use pretty much exclusively uh, with the Shield. I carry it probably about four days a week. Um, I also carry my M11 on some other days just depending on what the mission is and all that kind of stuff. Um, but these four holsters pretty much will allow you to carry with any clothing combination that I've come across anyway so far. So with that, I will just go ahead and start. Um, you know, I have ones that I like better than the other, but some of them just work better for certain certain circumstances, even though they might not be my favorite. So um, keep that in mind as I go through this. It's not necessarily saying one of these is better than the other, but these are just the four that I think are the, if, if you wanted to, always be able to have your gun with you, you could do that with with these four holster combinations. So anyway, the first one is uh, very simple. Um, it is a uh, Galco, just a very basic pocket holster. It's kind of a suede uh, pocket holster. It's got the, the gun is unloaded, um, but it's got kind of a hard reinforced edge right here, you know, and it just, it fits into a cargo pocket um, or into a front pocket, a front pants pocket, um, pretty nicely if, they're, if the pockets are big enough. Now, what I end up using these on uh, quite a bit is uh, they're like the 511. I don't know what they're called. I think the 511 strikes, where they got the little smaller uh, cargo pocket on the side of the pants, and these just fit right down in there, just perfectly for those. Um, if you're in a situation where you don't want to have, you know, an overcoat on or something like that, and you still want to have it concealed, but you don't want to have an ankle holster. So I will put the uh, manufacturer down uh, in a link down there. I'll have to read it. Let's see. It's the Galco. Let me look. K149L Pro 32B. And I'll, I'll stick that link down here. And I'll try to put links to these on Amazon if I can in the, in the link below as well. But anyway, this is a pretty good, pretty useful holster here. The downside to it is it doesn't have any kind of retention device on it. But if you keep it in a, you know, a small pocket, then that shouldn't really be an issue. But it does cover up the trigger nice and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's look at the next one. So the next one is one that I don't use um, as frequently, but it is still nice and useful, um, you know, when you have to have your shirt tucked in, you can't have the gun exposed and all that kind of stuff. And that is an ankle holster. And this one is from DeSantis Gun Hide. Um, and the reason I like this ankle holster is that it's got this, you know, this kind of wool right here or whatever. And it makes it a whole lot more comfortable to, to wear. And then it does come with an adjustable uh, thumb snap as well. So it does have some retention. And, you know, it stays in place pretty good. I mean, it does sag a little bit like any ankle holster would, but it does do okay. Now, the other thing that I'll use with this, and sometimes I'll even use this in combination with the other holsters, is a uh, DeSantis, uh, kind of a foam uh, ammo carrier, or magazine carrier, excuse me. And it can carry either the standard size or the large size uh, shield magazines. And it's also very comfortable. It's made in neoprene. It's kind of pretty thick, you know, and that works out nicely, um, especially when you're using the ankle holster because it kind of evens everything out so you don't kind of, you know, have that <laughs> little bit of a limp to it or whatever. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one real quick. Okay, so the next one is a DeSantis outside the waistband. Um, just a black leather. It does have a, a retaining screw and a tensioner here. And I think the model on it is a 002X7. And very nice. You can get this straight up. You know, you can have it so it's more straight or you can have a little bit of a cant to it. Um, you know, it's comfortable. It stays back out of the way. You really don't even notice that it's on. It you know conforms to your body really nicely and all that kind of stuff. And they, you know, they make DeSantis and Galco just make really good products as a whole. But um, you know, I like this one a lot. 
and I use it. It's probably the one that I use second the most. I probably use it about, I don't know, maybe a third of the time or something like that. All right, let's take a look at the last one. And I, I briefly uh, I briefly mentioned this one um, on a video I did not too long ago with uh, my EDC items. And this is the Stealth Guard uh, Vent Core with the Vent Core technology. And it is kind of a hybrid uh, style um, holster. And you know, as I mentioned in the other video, it's just super comfortable. I probably end up wearing this one most of all. Um, you know, but you obviously, if it's inside the waistband, so you still have to have it concealed some way or another. Cool thing about this one is, though, is that uh, it's comfortable enough that you can uh, wear it even without having a t-shirt underneath. You know, you can just put it right next to your skin and you don't really have any problems at all. The only thing I had to do in order to do that was where they have the adjustments for these uh, belt loops here. You just have to kind of make sure that you smoothen off those because when they melted them, um, it, it they'll have a little bit of a rough spot on them. You just pull that little bit of melted plastic off and you're good to go. And then the rest of it is just, you know, super smooth and super soft. The other thing I like about it is, is with the Kydex outer shell, it's easy to reholster uh, without having to, you know, like loosen your belt buckle or anything like that because it holds its shape. So those are the four um, holsters that I think... That, they would be the only four holsters you would need to pretty much arm up and carry in an everyday situation in any clothing combination that I can think of. I haven't, like I said, I haven't, I haven't come across a combination yet uh, that didn't work for me. So anyway, guys, uh, let me know what your favorite holsters are for your EDC weapon down in the comments below. I'd be curious to see, especially for the shield, since that is what I carry. Uh, definitely be interested to see if you guys have any other great holsters that you like. As always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys. One of my biggest time wasters is driving to and from work every day. I can't text, I can't email, it's boring, and it wastes my time. But I started using Audible listening to audiobooks as I drive. Audible gave me back two hours per day, and I love it. Click the link in the description below to get 30 days free, plus a free audiobook from audible.com when you sign up for the service.